Hey, Kevin, what are you looking at? Well, this is AHP's Alpha TIG 203XI. Uh, it just came out a few months back. I got a question the other day. How the heck do you turn the pulse on? I can't find the buttons. So, let's turn it on. Once you turn your machine on, and you look here, and here's your LCD screen, and you wonder, okay, I know it's got pulse. Where the heck is it? Well, it's hiding under this button right here. Push that button, and these three little menus pop up right here. And if you just page over, you can see the little red box coming here. And here's your first setting called pulse frequency. That is actually how many pulses per second you get. So pulse frequency, right now it's just one pulse per second. And don't forget, you can push in on that knob and it goes up a lot quicker. If you don't push in on the knob, it goes up by a tenth. Push in and you can get wherever the heck you want a whole lot faster, up to 250 pulses a second. And then you've got your base amperage is a percentage of your welding amps. And then time on. The pulse is on for this uh, this percentage of time where it's welding at this point. It's at, the, it's at the base amps at that point. So that's how you get to the pulse settings on the 203XI from AHP. So I hope that answers your questions. Uh, it's a great little machine. I love using this little thing. You know, it, it's got plenty of functionality to it. Once you get used to the pulse, once you, you know, get it in your brain, what it's for and how you use it, it makes your work so much easier, guys. You know, definitely, if you have pulse on your machine, sit there and play with it. You know, learn what it does and, and how you can make it work better for you. What does it do? The pulse function takes your welding amperage, let's call it 100 amps, so you're at 100 amps while you're welding. The pulse is going to go from 100 amps down to your base amps. That's when the pulse actually triggers. It'll go from 100 amps down to, let's say, 50 amps. Your pulse time on, how long is it going to stay at 50 amps? How many milliseconds? And then back up to welding amps again. And what that gets you is, you've got 100 amps to weld with, to melt the metal, to add your filler rod, but if you're working with 16 gauge, 18 gauge, 20 gauge, you know, thin metals, the pulse really comes into its own because you can get that burst of welding amperage and then it's going to drop down in amperage for however long you set it and that allows the metal to cool down a little bit. So you're not constantly dumping 100 amps on something that's really thin. You're not warping the heck out of it. You're just going to hit it and get away, hit it and get away, hit it and get away. You know, that's what pulse does. Up, down, up, down, up, down. I use it up to about eighth of an inch simply because the pulse for me, it also gives you a, a better looking weld, a more consistent weld, you know, more consistent beads in the weld. You know, it gives you a prettier weld also. So I do appreciate you all watching. Uh, I hope that helps you get your finger on the pulse of what you're doing there, if, if you'll feel pardon the pun. Uh, don't forget to reach up there and hit that notification bell so you get notice when the new videos come out. And I'll see you all next time. Now, does it stop? Okay. Fix the mic. No, it's just me. See, it, 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 it always something like this. It, it's the way I am. <laughs>